Hi everyone! I have my Hobby Lobby haul to share with you guys. This was from over the weekend. Um, I shared the planner stuff, so this is kind of the rest of everything else that I got in that trip. So, the food items is also part of the sale. So, I did go yesterday to my local store, and Valentine's Day is now 75% off. So, if you see candy, pick it up, because we sure did. So, we got some nerds. We actually got two of these bags, but we ate one the day that we bought it. So, that one's gone. That's the extra one. I got the little gummy heart candies. I love those. Uh, Sunny Boy loves Tootsie Rolls, like the classic ones, but I love the flavored ones. So, I grabbed those. And then they had this really pretty kissing booth that I just loved. So, I got that one. So, this was originally $5. This location had a couple of the string beads on clearance. So this one was, I think, $2.74. I just thought this was really, really pretty. So I grabbed that one. Then they had this one for $1.50 where it's like rainbow colors. This one's really pretty. I loved the little yellow flowers. This was $2.50. And then this one was $2.74. Again, just some really pretty little, like, yellow-orangey flowers. And I found some Cricut stuff. So, they had a fabric um, blade for $6. They had this rotary blade kit for $7.74. Now, I did find at my local store that they had the, like, Cricut heat press on clearance as well so i did do a shorts video on that so you guys could go ahead and go look at that for all the pricing then they had tags for 69 cents this one says with love i think that's perfect for like valentine's day and then they had a thank you one for the same thing the 69 cents then they had these embossing tools which are great for making flowers and adding like dimension to your paper flowers so this was a dollar fifty for this kit so i'm really happy that i found that one because i did need it i do need to make a couple flowers for an upcoming project that i'm going to be working on with you guys Easter is 40% off, and I love this one that it said Happy Easter in there. So I grabbed this little set right here. This was $2.50 minus the 40% off, and the container, you guys, save it when you've used up all your little wood pieces. These are great. I have these around all over the place because I like using them when I'm die cutting. I will start sticking my little pieces in here. Because when I die cut, I die cut a bunch at once. So, like, specifically for my gnomes, I'll put, like, the hat here, you know, the left hand, the right hand, the right foot, the left foot, the nose, the beard, you know, whatever little pieces. So, that way I have it all nice and together. So, I love using these for die cutting. I also want to make a little mini shadow box out of one of these. I still have yet to do that, but I it's on my to-do list, you guys. So, hopefully I can get to that. Or if you are doing, um like a lot of embellishments all at once you can start putting like rhinestones in here flowers over here you know it's just really nice to organize and use when you're crafting then they had the cards on clearance so the big box cards that i wanted were like um pastel like rainbow ones i didn't see those at this store but they had these packs it's really weird. A lot of the stores are kind of like starting the clearance, but not finishing. Like I noticed at my location, they started, you know, doing these cards up on top, but didn't do the bottom where the other cards were. So it's, it's awful that you have to keep running back basically daily if there's something that you want to catch on clearance. And with the price of crafting, now's the time to stock up. And with Hobby Lobby... We don't know what they're going to keep and what they're going to discontinue because over the last few years, the crafting section is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. It's so sad. So, I got this pack of card and envelopes for 99 cents. I want to do some Halloween cards with you guys. So, I got that one. 
I also want to do a Halloween swap this year. I didn't get to do it last year because of, like, my dad's health. But I'm hoping this year I'll be able to do that because I love Halloween. So stay tuned for that. This one is a larger set of cards. This is 5 by 7 and these were $1.24. And since they were red, I'm like, hello, Christmas cards. So I grabbed that one. Then let's see what else they had. They had the little mini cards for $1.24, which is like Dollar Tree price. And it has gold foiling on there. So these are just really, really cute. Afterwards, I thought about it. And I'm like, you know what? I should have got more of these because I can always layer and add my own stuff. So even though it's really pretty with the gold foiling, I can always make this my own. Like these little black ones right here. I can add a layer of paper and then turn them into Halloween cards and just kind of use the edge of the black card as like a little border. So I should, probably should have got more of those, but it's okay next time, you know? And they also had this pack for a dollar twelve, which this one I definitely will cover up like some of these, like this little like happy face. So that's what they look like. And um, let's see. Oh, I've got one wax seal. So they did have, I think, like four different wax seals that were on clearance, but I only got the butterfly one. It was a dollar twelve. They also had the wax sticks that go into your hot glue gun. And they had the little melts, you know, like the little disc of the wax. Um, but at this location, there was like a yellow and a pink only. And then for the wax sticks, there was like a bunch of them. There's like a lot of different colors, but I've never used them in my hot glue gun. And I'm not sure if I really want to because, I don't know, it's like you can't take it out and change the color. You know what I mean? It's like you're stuck using all that color. So I don't know. I didn't grab those. And then they also had a handle that was kind of like a baby pink. But I want to say it was like $3.74. And I'm like, why would I buy just the handle when I could buy a whole stamp where I get the handle and the wax head for a dollar twelve so I didn't even bother with that one and besides I don't like pink anyways so it's not my jam oh look I found some more Valentine's Day items so they had little Nomi homies and then they had this little teddy bear that I don't even remember seeing at my local store so this little bear says love and then this one's just holding hearts. I honestly do not remember seeing these at my store. So I'm really happy that I found those. It's so weird how you go to other locations and then you find different things, you know? Uh, let's see. Uh, these little, like, bubble ones, they're different. They have, like, three little hearts to them. So it's different than what I have from Dollar Tree. So I grabbed those. And then they had a little stamp here, so 74 cents. The store only had one ink pad on sale or on clearance, so I'm not sure if somebody else already went in and bought them all or not, but it was like a blue. So I need to check my stores once they start doing more of the paper section to see what they have available. And then I had um, talked about this in my previous video. I had got the black wire and the lady said that there was more colors. So you can see the original price was $4 and they're barely bringing it down to $1.50. So I found the blue and I found the green and they did have the red, but the red was still marked at $3.99 and the lady said she wasn't sure if it was supposed to be cheaper or not and I just left it. So I was like, okay, fine. And then not until afterwards when I left it, I think about, oh my gosh, I should have looked at the number on the red because online, if it's at $1.50, then that's what they charge you for in store. But I was in a hurry. Like I said, we were just out of town and I was trying to like literally run in and run out. So I didn't think about it. So I'm going to go check my um, local store again because I forgot when I was there yesterday and see if they have the red and see what the price is on that. So you can see like the numbers right here. If you ever want to look at anything up online, you can just look at the little numbers right here. And then that's the number that you put in to find it online. So I have to go see what the number is for the red one because I don't know. But with St. Patrick's Day coming up, I'm really happy that I got that green one. And then, oh, I have one more set of cards here. Uh, this one was $1.12. So I'm thinking birthday cards. That's kind of what it's giving me is like birthday card confetti vibes. So I'm going to turn this whole little pack into birthday cards. And let's see, you get 24 cards and envelopes. So 
That's really good. I didn't realize there was that many in there for $1.12. Wow. Kind of feel like I should have got more of those for that price. I really, really like that. That's a really good deal, you guys. Oh, oh, I got one more thing. Oh, I should have brought it out here. So my mom started crocheting little eggs. And um, the photo originally had like little buttons on there. And I was like, you know what? I know there's like cuter little flat bag bunnies at Hobby Lobby and I literally found one pack at the store and I totally forgot to look at my store so I'll be back this week to see what else um they have locally here so I'll have to look for more of these but I just thought these were so cute and I think they'll look really really cute in her little crocheted egg so I'll share that in an upcoming video so these are $3.50 minus the 40% off so that's everything that I got in this little haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and we'll see you later. Bye guys.